Heinz was founded by Henry J. Heinz, who was born in the United States to German immigrants. His father was originally from Karlstadt, then part of the Bavarian nation. His mother, Anna, was also of German origin and they met in Pittsburgh. Henry J. Hines began packing foodstuff on a small scale at Sharpsburg, Pennsylvania in 1869. There he founded Hines Noble and Company with a friend L. Clarence Noble and began marketing horseradish. The first product in Hines and Noble's new anchor brand, a name selected for its biblical meaning of hope, was his mother, Anna Hines's recipe for horseradish. The young Hines manufactured it in the basement of his father's former house. The company went bankrupt in 1875. The following year, Heinz founded another company, F.N.J. Heinz, with his brother, John Heinz, and a cousin, Frederick Heinz. One of this company's first products was Heinz tomato ketchup. In 1888, Heinz bought out his two partners and reorganized the company as the H.J. Heinz Company. Its slogan, 57 Varieties was introduced by Heinz in 1896, inspired by an advertisement he saw while riding an elevated train in New York City, a shoe store boasting 21 styles. Heinz picked the number more or less at random because he liked the sound of it, selecting 7 specifically because as he put it, of the psychological influence of that figure and of its enduring significance to people of all ages. In 1905, H.J. Heinz was incorporated and Heinz served as its first president, holding that position for the rest of his life. Under his leadership, the company pioneered processes for sanitary food preparation and led a successful lobbying effort in favor of the Pure Food and Drug Act in 1906. And in 1908, he established a processing plant in Leamington, Ontario, Canada for tomatoes and other products. Heinz operated it until 2014 when it was sold. Heinz was a pioneer in both scientific and technological innovations to solve problems like bacterial contamination. He personally worked to control the purity of his products by managing his employees, offering hot showers and weekly manicures for the women handling food. During World War I, he worked with the Food Administration. In 1914, Heinz salad cream was invented in England. In 1930, Howard Hines, son of Henry Hines, helped to fight the downturn of the Great Depression by selling ready-to-serve soups and baby food. They became top sellers. During World War II, Jack Hines led the company as president and CEO to aid the United Kingdom and offset food shortages. Its plant in Pittsburgh was converted for a time to manufacture gliders for the War Department. The Kraft Heinz Company's world headquarters are in Chicago, Illinois, with the H.J. Heinz Division located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where the company was founded. The company's Keystone logo is based on that of Pennsylvania, the Keystone State. Heinz Field was named after the Heinz Company in 2001. A majority of its ketchup is produced in Fremont, Ohio, and the rest is made in Marketing, Iowa. Heinz opened a pickle factory in Holland, Michigan in 1897, and it is the largest of such facility in the world. The Heinz Portion Control subsidiary is located in Jacksonville, Florida, and produces single-serving containers of ketchup, mustard, salad dressings, jams, jellies, and syrups. Heinz also has factories in the following locations. Phoenix, Arizona, Chasworth, California, Fort Myers in Florida, Pocatello, Idaho, Cedar Rapids in Iowa, and so many more. In 2000, seven retailers, including Walmart, Albertsons, and Safeway, comprised half of the company's sales by volume. In the post-war years, Jack Hines expanded the company to develop plants in several nations overseas, greatly expanding its international presence. He also acquired 
Ora Ida and Star Kiss Tuna. In 1959, longtime Heinz employee Frank Amo Jr. was elected president and chief operating officer of H.J. Heinz & Co., succeeding H.J. Heinz II. He was the first non-family member to hold the job since the company started in 1869. He became vice chairman in 1966 and later became chairman and chief executive officer of Heinz subsidiary Oreida Foods Incorporated. In 1969, Tony O'Reilly joined the company's UK subsidiary, soon becoming its managing director. He moved to Pittsburgh in 1971 when he was promoted to senior vice president for the North America and Pacific region. By 1973, Heinz selected him as president. He became CEO in 1979 and chairman in 1987. Between 1981 and 1991, Heinz returned 28% annually, doubling the standard and poor's average annual return for those years. By 2000, the consolidation of grocery store chains and the spread of retailers such as Walmart and growth of private label brands caused competition for shelf space and put price pressure on the company's products. The decline was also attributed to an inadequate response to broad demographic changes in the United States, particularly the growth in population among Hispanic and increased spending power of African Americans. In 1998, Tony O'Reilly left Heinz after issues with the company's performance. He faced challenges from corporate governance groups and pension funds, including Cowper's. He was succeeded by his deputy, William R. Johnson. In 2001, Heinz acquired the pasta sauce, dry bullion and soup business of Borden Foods. CEO William R. Johnson stated that they fit very well with our tomato-based expertise. On the 22nd of August 2001, Heinz announced that it would acquire the Anchor Food Products branded products, which included the Popper's line of appetizers as well as the licensing rights to the TGI Fridays brand of frozen foods and appetizers. The acquisition was completed on the 25th of September. Billionaire Nelson Peltz initiated a proxy battle during 2006, culminating in a vote to place five of Peltz's nominees on the board. After the final vote, two of the five nominees joined the Heinz board. The new members of the board were Nelson Peltz and Matthew Craig Walsh. In 2002, Heinz announced that he had sold the Starkist and Nine Lives brand to Del Monte Foods. On February 14th, that's Valentine's Day 2013, it was announced that Heinz will be purchased by Berkshire Hathaway and 3G Capital for $23 billion, including debt assumption the transaction was valued at $28 billion. According to Heinz, the deal was the largest in food industry history. Berkshire Hathaway and 3G would each own half of Heinz with 3G running the company Berkshire and 3G paid $72.50 a share. The acquisition was completed in June of that same year. Berkshire and 3G immediately named Bernardo Hees, former chief executive of Burger King Worldwide Incorporated, as the CEO. On the 13th of August 2013, Heinz announced it was cutting 600 jobs in North America. On the 25th of October 2013, fast food chain McDonald's announced it would end its 40-year relationship with Heinz after the former Burger King chief Hees became its CEO. On the 25th of March 2015, Kraft Foods Group Incorporated announced that it would merge with the H.J. Heinz Company owned by 3G Capital and Berkshire Hathaway Incorporated to form the world's fifth largest food and beverage company. The companies completed the merger on the 2nd of July 2015. The merged company falsely reported over 200 million in bogus cost savings and was forced to restate its financial results for the years 2015 through 2018. That's all we have for you today on Centurion. 
where we feature anything man-made that has lasted over 100 years. And this week, we feature Heinz, the tomato brand, not only tomato and ketchup, salad dressings, and so many things that you and I have eaten at one point in time or the other. My name is Dimitri. Like, share, and subscribe. And to come your way again, don't you stop tuning in and waiting for the next episode of Centurions.